Welcome back to the next project, Pro Cutters. And what we're doing here today is on this wall in the master bedroom, we're going to be adding wooden boxes made out of one by fours just to add a decorative touch to this wall. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, once you figure out the total length of your wall, then you figure out how big you want your squares to be which I'm going approximately two feet. Um, so I did the math and I wind up needing to shrink it down some. Uh, I'm going with, you know, I'm using that as a basic number. So then you take the thickness of your trim, and you're gonna take your whole wall, which mine's 326, and I've got three and a half inch trim. So I'm gonna minus seven inches off of that because you need to allow for the trim in each corner. And I'm gonna put 14 squares in so that leaves me with the measurement of 22 inches and three quarters for the distance between all my squares so i'll measure off the wall three and a half and then it's going to be 22 and three quarters every mark from there and that 22 mark is going to be the far side of my next piece of trim so it'll, each one will be on there like that now with my vertical measurements sorted out, the next thing I want to do is measure from the bottom of the crown mold to the top of the base mold. And you can see I used my oscillating saw and I buzzed out the top decorative portion of the base mold. And I feel that's going to give me a cleaner look for my verticals. Okay, with several trials and errors and test measurements, because you always, before you start nailing any wood onto the wall, you want to be sure. So finally, I've got my measurement right. I've switched. I'm going to do 13 row of boxes. And so 24 and seven eighths is going to be my mark from far edge to close edge. And that's what I'm going with. And that's going to give me an even amount of boxes across the room, give or take a hair. All right, what's going on pro cutters? So I've got my first set of horizontals in and I decided I need to make sure you can see it up here. I decided that I needed one up at the top since the crown mold wasn't as wide as the base mold. The base I'm going to leave like that. Uh, I like it. I think it looks good. Just notched into the fancy part. And then that's the way we're going to go ahead and do it. And then those boxes will go all the way across the room. Stay tuned.
So now all the molding is finished. This outlet, super close. The cover is going to have to get trimmed so it'll fit. And then this outlet fell right in the middle of a board. And so I'm going to go ahead and put a retrofit box right here. And I'm going to move the wire over into this box because it's just a single wire running for the light. So an easy move. And then I'll be able to put that last piece of molding in. And it's done all the way into the corner. So I do have quite a few brads that have to be sunk in. But other than that, she's ready for spackling paint. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Dave. You know what? Something's been on my mind. I, my mind. I think you guys should all go check out my friend John's channel at the Pro Cut. I promise you, you won't regret it. He's a great guy and he's got great content. So just go there, like, comment, and subscribe. It's not that hard to do. Trust me. And you, and you won't regret it.